passive income? What is it? How can you have it? And how can you do it with no money out of your pocket in real estate? My name is Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and today I'm here to teach you how to make passive income in real estate with no money out of your pocket. You don't have to have anything come out of your pocket and I'm gonna share with you how to do that. Now, first, what is passive income? Because we always hear, you know, passive income is how you can be able to get yourself financially free. And is passive income real? And I'm here to tell you, passive income is not real. And what I mean by that is, you're always going to have to do some form of work in order to create passive income. So while you technically can have passive income, the truth is there's no such thing as passive income where you're totally stepped away. There's always going to be some degree, whether that's you checking in on numbers, you checking in on a manager or someone that you appoint that's in charge of your real estate portfolio or whatnot, you're going to have to do some degree. Some people got to do more. Some people do a lot less, but you can create passive income. Now, how do you do it with no money down? That's going to be the big question. But first, we got to ask, why would you ever want to have passive income? Right? It's not common for most people to tap into passive income. What we typically do is we work a nine to five, we trade our time for money. And after a while, you know, that gets pretty old. You kind of get bored of it. You want to sit there, and as you get older, you sit there and you're like, I want to have freedom. I want to do what I want, how I want, what I want, and with who I want. And the degree in which you do that really is determined by how much passive income you have. Now you can go make a ton of money in active income and that's great, but you're always going to be bound to that job or that situation. You won't be completely free. Now I'm a big believer in network marketing. You can do that completely free, hardly any money, like a hundred bucks out of your pocket. You learn unbelievable leadership skills, communication skills, people skills. I really believe that's a powerful industry, but it's not for everyone. Could everyone succeed? Yes, but is it for everyone? No. I'm here to focus on real estate with you guys because real estate has produced more multi-millionaires than any other industry out there. And not just multi-millionaires, but it's helped people become financially free a lot faster than they ever would have done before. I've coached hundreds of people in the real estate world that have passive income that are generating financial freedom for themselves. Every year I'm working with someone that's getting financially free in the real estate market through passive income income. And so everyone has different goals. You got to figure out what's your goal. But if you're looking to have passive income so you can create freedom, the first thing you got to do is figure out how much passive income do you need? Most people do not have a clearly defined budget. You need a budget, right? That's written out, knowing exactly how much your mortgages or your rent, what are your utilities, what's your car payment, your car insurance. You got to know everything to the T. And it might add up to, let's just say $5,000. And so if you have a $5,000 a month expenditure that you have to cover every month, if you can create a $5,000 a month passive income, you technically don't have to work. Now let's be real, most of us, we're gonna wanna go out to the movies, dinner, go buy this, go on Amazon for that, right? We're gonna have these different desires, go snowboarding. So you're gonna need some extra money. So you're gonna have to calculate that and I always like to think about 20 to 25% over your expenditure is what I would calculate for your passive incomes. Now once you know that, then what you can do is you can start to work on this first way to create passive income with no money out of your pocket. And the best Best thing to do is you got to find someone that has money but does not have time. Okay, there's a lot of people I know they got a ton of money, they just don't have time. Why? Because successful people are busy, they got a lot of things going on. And so, if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna create passive income with no money, go find someone that has money who's interested in real estate, who's interested in passive income. And what you do is you gotta go out there and find a deal that cash flows positive. And what I mean by that is you buy the place so that you get a certain number for the mortgage, but you know you can rent it out for even more money. So let's say you found a house where the mortgage with everything, principals, insurance, um, taxes, interest, all of that is tied down into a $1,000 a month 
payment. And if you can go find a renter that say it's for $1450 is what you could charge a renter, you now make positive cash flow, right? So you would make the difference, $450. Now, yes, you wanna keep some money for, you know, things that may break like a furnace, a water heater, dishwasher, whatever it might be, right? You wanna keep that money, but let's just keep it simple. Let's just say you cash flow $450. That's awesome. What you may want to do is you may want to find someone that will that's willing to do a 50-50 partnership, right? So that means they'll put up the money for the down payment, you guys will both be responsible for the loan, and then you would split that positive cash flow 225 each. And so now all of a sudden you went, you found the deal, you found the lenders, you got the renters, you got all the agreements, you made sure everything was perfect. And all the partner had to do was put down the down payment and sign and co-sign on the loan with you, right? That's an easy, a very easy way to create passive income in real estate with no money down. And what's even better is that you are now starting to collect assets that over time, what happens is as you start paying your monthly mortgage, it starts going down and hopefully with the way the market goes, it's going up a couple percentages each year, hopefully, if not more. And so all of a sudden you start to see the scale starting to slide. And so you own an asset and that's the biggest thing is do you have an asset or are you just focused on liabilities? So that's the first way. The second way that you can create passive income with no money is you can go find a wedge deal. And what a wedge deal is, what it means is you can actually find a house and it's not gonna be on Zillow or on realtor.com. You're gonna have to go find this off market, but you find a house that's willing to sell to you for 25% or less than the value of the home. So for example, if you found a $400,000 home and the seller would sell to you for $300,000, you would have 25% equity in that home. Now you might ask, well, Joe, why would anyone ever give up $100,000 in equity? Well, I don't know. There's many life situations that show up, right? Their family could be sick. They just lost their job. They've been out of work for a few months and they're, they're behind on their payments. And they're like, hey, I'd eventually like to buy a house or buy somewhere even cheaper. And so they have, there's so many reasons why someone can buy, or excuse me, why they would sell to you in that situation. You don't need to worry about why they're selling. You just gotta worry about you getting the deal. Now, here's the thing. If you're gonna find this deal, it's gonna take time. You gotta do your research. You gotta go, there's so many different ways you can find, knock doors, send flyers, ask around, talk to agents. I mean, there's a plethora of ways. And we're not gonna go through that in all of this in this video. But what you wanna do is you wanna find a wedge deal with 25% equity or more, or greater, should I say, so that you can go to the bank and say, hey, I wanna get a loan for this. And then you won't have to shell out any money because it has 25% equity or more. Now you might have to pay some closing costs if they're not gonna wrap it into the loan, they usually do, but if you can actually make sure that there's a little bit more than 25%, you should be good, where you don't have to have any money coming out of pocket, and that is a win for you. So in short, just to wrap up here, the first way is to partner with someone who has a lot of money, but no time. You're willing to do all the footwork, the traffic, the hustle in order to get that first deal under your belt and you can help someone else out while you guys acquire an asset. The second way is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna find a wedge deal where there's 25% or more preferably about 28% to 30%, but 25% or more so that you don't have to take and put any money down for that deal because there's so much equity built in that if you were to default on your payment, the bank could take the house and still get their money's worth by reselling it, especially if they're selling it at market value. So those are two simple ways to start creating passive income with no money out of your pocket. And I will tell you, it's worth the time, it's worth the hustle, but I'll leave you with this. If you have money, which most people watching this video, you have it, right? However, you might be one of those people that don't have the time and you wanna find someone that's willing to do the hustling for you so that you guys could split the cash flow 
own the asset together, when it appreciates over time, you can be able to sell it for a profit as the mortgage goes down. But if you're one of those people, you have money, but you're not in the real estate game and creating passive income, you may want to start thinking about it. I wouldn't start with a single family home. I'd start with multiple doors. Maybe you start with a duplex or a triplex or a fourplex. I know right now I'm in the process of buying a duplex and uh, potentially a triplex. We're seeing if we're going to do a package deal or not. But I'm looking at multiple doors. Next step up is looking at maybe 10 to 12 doors from there, 32 and above, and then looking at eventually apartment syndication. And that's a whole nother topic, but it's creating that passive income. I know a lot of people, they have a ton of hustle. They go out there, they find the deals, they run the numbers, they do the underwriting themselves, and then they bring it to a bunch of people who have money, they partner together. And if it's like, you know, 150 doors, that's some good cash flow, right? If it's in a good location, you could really make four to five figures in passive income. And for a lot of people to create their freedom, it doesn't take a lot, especially if you live well below your means. And we're gonna talk about that in other videos. If you're not out there living you know, the million, millionaire lifestyle before you're even a millionaire. And even if you are a millionaire, why are you living the millionaire lifestyle? And there's a great book, The Millionaire Next Door, where I, what I love about it is these people will have like 10, 20, 30 million dollars and they live right next to you and you have no clue because their lifestyle doesn't change just like Warren Buffett. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Many more videos we're coming out with three a week. I'm excited to bring more value, more tips to you guys. Comment if you own property, if you have passive income, I want to know what do you own? Single family, how many, a duplex, a triplex, fourplex apartments. What do you got? How many of you are financially free or how many of you want to become financially free? Because again, remember when your passive income, which you do have to do work for, exceed your monthly expenditures where you're not buying a bunch of crap, you become financially secure. You can become financially free. So with that, Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.